I have cried in the Oval Office, in the West Wing of the White House, in presidential motorcades, in holding rooms at the Kremlin out of uh, exhaustion and frustration. I have cried in front of Hillary Clinton. I have cried in front of Barack Obama. I am a crying evangelist. My name is Jennifer Palmieri. I uh, was Hillary Clinton's communications director in the 2016 campaign, and I was President Obama's communications director at the White House before that. And I am the author of the book, Dear Madam President, an open letter to the women who will run the world. I wrote this chapter that's called Nod Less, Cry More. And it's just meant to provoke and you know, women's own thinking about ways that we either mute ourselves or hold ourselves back from behaving as we are inclined to because we think that's not acceptable at work. On that night that Hillary lost, my colleague Huma Abedin, I was working out of the Peninsula Hotel and she came in to check to see how things were going. And I was explaining to her a pretty bad situation and she looked at me and said, what are you saying to me? And I said, I'm saying, I think there's a very good chance that Donald Trump will be the next president of the United States. And she just looks at me and she nods. She just goes. And I thought, the moment I thought, it's so remarkable, yet not surprising, because every time Huma or I or Hillary got bad news on the campaign, and there was a lot of it, we would just nod, we would think, I, you know, I, okay, I can absorb that, I can absorb anything, I can handle anything, and I'm, as a woman I have to prove, no matter how tough or bad the news is, that I can handle it. I certainly saw President Obama cry on many occasions. Um, the first, and I'm like tearing up as I think about it, <laughs> but uh, the first time was after Newtown, which you know, he still says the most devastating day of his presidency. The majority of those who died today were children. Uh, beautiful little kids between the ages of five and 10 years old. I think that was a wonderful leadership moment uh, from uh, President Obama. And, you know, it's something I think is good for the country to see. And now I'm crying <laughs> a lot, visibly. <laughs> You don't just want your leaders to appear stoic. You want to know how much they care. <laughs> we don't know what we're holding back by not expressing what we really think or thinking that we have to prove how tough we are. I am tough. I am a big crier. <laughs> Both these things can exist. I don't have to prove to anyone how tough or strong that I am. I want to do the job the way I want to do the job. And that's, that's going to involve some crying sometimes. And that is OK. And I think that is what this time is for women now. We get to decide what we think is professional in the workplace, what works for us, what makes it, what makes that environment a place where we can succeed. Do not mute your passions and do not mute your emotions. If you are moved to cry because you are angry and frustrated or because something is that important to you, do it.